Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the Wii Hours, where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. We are going to start playing Citadel, Forged with Fire. Uh, this is early access on Steam. I've seen a lot of people playing it and saying really good things about it. So I wanted to give it a shot. Obviously, it's early access, so things may change between A and B. What you see in the final game may not be what's played here. But I wanted to give this a shot. It got a lot of, um, a lot of good buzz and... It, I'm a sucker for anything along these lines, so let's give it a shot. I was also very keen to see that I could make my skin red. And any game where I can make myself all red, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So this is who we're going to roll out the gate with. Uh, prior to recording this, I just sort of played around with character creation and checked out the first few minutes of the game just to see what was going to happen and play with the settings. But apart from this, this is a complete blind run. I have no idea really even what this game is about or what I'll be doing. So let's see what's going to happen. And I'm on fire. I am literally forged with fire. They're not kidding about that title. There it is. I, I have, in a very real and literal sense, been forged with fire. I don't have a citadel yet, but I am forged with fire, so, you know, 50% of the battle right there. The controls seem to be pretty straightforward. And all of these little rocks seem to be little tutorial points to learn what to do. Press K to open the knowledge table. Here I will learn new skills, spells, and recipes. Well, that sounds really cool. I obviously don't have any of those yet, but I hopefully will soon. Oh, crafting. Oh, we got a crafting menu. We've got a crafting menu. I am a sucker for a crafting table. Oh, any game that gives me crafting, I'm going to be immediately into that. P to open spell book. All right, let's see what's going on around here. Got some water over here. I assume this is just the obvious safe spawning location. Um, and let's check out a few things. Okay, we are swimming. And we run out of breath really quickly. Okay, that's really fast. Okay, don't want to spend a lot of time underwater. Looks like we drown pretty quickly. Do we have a sprint? Yep, we have a sprint. Okay, we can move a little faster than this. That's the inventory one. We're back at our forged area there. Is there anything I can pick up? I want some stuff. Let's get some stuff going on here. Give me a thing I can grab. There doesn't seem to be any endurance, you know, limit to how long I can sprint. It looks like I can just keep sprinting forever if I want to. Now, how about fall damage? Is there any fall damage? Nope, apparently not. That was, uh, if I was going to get fall damage, it definitely would have been from that. So it doesn't look like there's fall damage. There may be, you know, maybe a taller cliff or something might give me some damage. But right now it looks like no on the fall damage. Let's see what's going on sort of in this direction. Okay, I can pick up the wood. I have collected one wood and I got 10 XP for picking up a stick. That's pretty cool. I wonder if you can level up the entire game just picking up sticks. Somebody will do a pacifist run of just picking up sticks and getting to max level. I have no idea if there is a max level or not. I have no clue. Any more sticks I can pick up? I'm, I'm happy to pick up sticks for XP. Is that a stick? No, it's not a stick. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on in this initial spawn area. And why should there be? Oh, is that another person? Hi, other person. I don't really want to have a conversation with you. I just want to see that there are other people here. Hi. Hi, a blizzard man. Let's keep moving here. Is that a Oh, I can pick up a stick. 10 XP. Is that another stick? Another 10 XP. 30 XP, and all I've done is pick up some sticks. This is great. Oh, I can pick up a stone. 15 XP on the stones. Oh. Oh, we, we may get to... I was just going to say, we may get to level 2 just picking stuff up, and we did. Now, what do I do with that? I see the K and the C flashing up below me there. Knowledge tree. Okay. Unspent knowledge three. What can we do with this? This is all brand new to me. Um, Wilderbane, Wilderbane gloves. Okay. 
Okay, so it costs me points to unlock these things. And these would be, I assume, things I can craft. Or things I can use. I'm not sure yet. Uh, all of these seem very high. I can't get any of those. In fact, it looks like I can only get these two. I can make a hat or some gauntlets. Well, I've got enough to unlock both. So... Let's, uh, let's learn that. Okay, good. And let's learn the hat. Okay. Oh, you know, I, geez, I didn't even see any of these. I probably should have looked at these first. Oh, I should have looked at these first. I bet I could have got some of these. Yeah. Oh, okay. Level two and I'm already making some mistakes here. Look, I could have learned some of these spells. Instead, I've learned how to make a hat. Oh, that will not be as effective as learning a spell. Okay, I sacrificed Fireball for a hat. This was not a good move on my part. Okay, well, lesson learned. Look at all of the options before I commit to things. I did want to just... Structures. Are are we going to be able to make buildings? Oh, if we're going to make be able to make buildings, I'm 100% in. I, I'm seeing structures. I'm seeing decorations for structures. Healing. Oh, oh! If you're if you're basically giving me make my own castle in this game, I'm I'm gonna get sunk into this one. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I I'm disappointed that I only know how to make a hat and a glove, and I don't know how to do a fireball. But I'm very excited to see what looks like castle building. That that might be really really interesting. What is in utility? Uh, stuff. Okay, potions. Flight, you say? Traveler's broomstick, you say? And I could have unlocked that. Dang it. All right. All right. I have... Okay, so what do I actually need? Uh, now that I can make the hat, what do I need to make the hat? I, hats. I actually have a special category just for hats. I need two cloth. And no bench requirements. So I would infer from that that there are crafting benches but i don't need one to make the hat okay well if we see some cloth we'll pick that up and see if that works out like that for right now let's keep going this seems really kind of neat so far can i get that stick no okay i don't i, don't, I have nothing besides my fists at this point and punch that's about it i can punch this way or punch that way all right, what's going is if anything out here would like to be cloth, I may as well make the darn hat seeing as I know how to do it now. Let's see is that oh, I what happened? I apparently just gained 50 experience. I have no idea why. No clue. That was really exciting though. I got to say I've played about 3 minutes of this game. I'm I'm okay with this. This is kind of oh, if you're telling me I can build castles in this game, I consider me signed on board. Okay. So, it's not an invisible wall. We can clearly go through it, and that seems to lead us... These seem to... I mean, I'm, I'm just totally guessing, but these seem to just sort of divide areas. But there's nothing stopping me from walking through it. In fact, it's kind of neat the way it just sort of parts the way there. But let's not go there yet. Let's just see if there's anything else in this initial tutorial area that I need to know about. Oh, more sticks! Oh, crowberry. Okay, I would assume we're... That'll probably go into maybe a potion or something. More wood. Yeah, somebody will absolutely do a pacifist run of just picking up sticks to max level. I can see that coming. More wood. I'd love to find some cloth. I know how to make a hat. I may as well make it. It'd be about the only thing I have right now. More wood. Okay, maybe we won't pick up all the wood. At least I, I know where to find it if I need it. I don't have anything to make out of wood, so... What's that? Is that a thing? No, that's not a thing. Is that a thing? Oh, that was a thing. I've, I've gained another 50 XP. I don't really know why. Mushrooms. Okay. Are we cooking in this game? Is, is Are we cooking things? Ghost orchid? All right. More wood I saw there. Rune crystal. That sounds important. That that sounds like that's an important thing to have. More crowberry. Are we cooking? I'd like to know if we're cooking. 
Are these all rune crystal? Mushrooms, rune crystals. Okay, well, no shortage of looting here. I think I'm going to be up to level three just by picking stuff up. And not one of these darn things is cloth. Can some of these mushrooms maybe be made out of cloth so I can make a hat out of cloth mushrooms? Oh, I can't believe I sacrificed Fireball to get a hat. Okay, probably don't need to pick up all the things in the world right now. What I'd really like to do is maybe find something to fight. I'd kind of like to see how combat goes. Get whatever that is, sure. Um, let's see if there's any... Have I left the tutorial area? It seems like I've left that far behind. I, I believe I'm kind of out in the wider world here. Oh, oh, I hear sounds of something. I was going to say gunfire, but that doesn't seem likely. Maybe an explosion of some sort. Maybe somebody learned fireball instead of the hat, and they're using it. Good on them. Good on them for making good choices there with your first level up. I did not make good choices. Why? Okay, for, all right, C is flashing. What is C? Um... Oh, I have points to spend. Okay, now let's let's look through my options before I commit to something. So if I I have health, mana, damage, and carrying capacity. Well, considering I only have my fists, I probably should put something into damage just to get my damage up. So if I do that, that'll get my damage up to 12. Okay, well, apparently I've already committed to that. I didn't have an option to not commit to that. Okay, fine. So my damage is up a little bit. That's good. Let's see if we can find something to punch. And I did note there, there's carrying capacity, so maybe I shouldn't be picking up, like, all the things in the world. Now, are these more tutorial stones? Um, they, I think they are, but maybe I've already learned the thing that they were going to tell me. Probably the thing they were going to tell me is don't choose hat, you moron. Oh, oh, here's a thing. Here's a thing. What's this thing? I want to check this out. This looks really cool. Oh, oh, check out that mountain. There's a big guy on the mountain. Somebody carved, I don't know what the heck that is, some guy with a staff into the mountain. That's neat. Let's go see what this tower is. This looks... Well, it looks either really cool, or it looks like it's going to kill me. And I'm basically okay with either option. That's fine. Eh, sure. More mushrooms. There seems to be no limit to sprinting. I seem to be able to sprint as long as I want. Is this a tutorial thing? Okay, what is this? What is this? This is a really neat tower. Can I build something like this in this game? That would be awesome. That would be ridiculous if I could build this for me, just for myself. And totally own it and keep everyone else out because it would be my tower. I would be 100% okay with that. Oh, come on, let's just get some sprinting going on here. Note to myself, when I build my own tower, maybe not quite as tall, less stairs. Yeah, definitely less stairs in my tower. Let's go. Sprinting up the stairs. Sprinting up the stairs. Sprint. My god, this tower is tall. Okay. Unlock fast travel. Oh, okay. So it's like a fast travel location. Okay, that's cool. Uh, okay, do I want to fast travel somewhere? Can I fast travel somewhere? How do I fast travel somewhere? All right, what do we got here? So that's me. All right. A uh, natural acid pool marked with a skull. So probably not where I want to fast travel to. Enemy camp, acid pool, acid pool. Wow, there's a lot of acid pools around here. I'm going to have to be careful of that. Enemy camp. Is there anywhere where I can see where there's cloth? Because I'd like a oh, healing pool. All right. I'd like to make my hat. So dead ahead of us, there's caves, more caves. All of these are named Blackwood Caves. I have no idea why. Enemy camp. Braydile Cave. Braydile Cave. Okay, that's a different cave. Wild Reach Den. So if we just went dead ahead, 
more or less from where we are right now, um, we would run into a thing. And of course, we've got the fog of war here. So this is what I've discovered. And that is Heathcliff. Is that a Jane Austen? Austen? It was a Jane Austen? I don't know. Uh, reference there? Wuthering Heights? Woodland Lookout? Okay, so how do we get out of this? There we go. Okay. Um, so if we just went dead ahead from where I was looking, which is right there, can I see beyond this? It looks like there's probably some caves down there that we could check out. Is that one of them right there? I can't really tell. Well, that's a nice view from up here. All right. Well, I think the last thing I'm going to do before we call it apart for the day is... Do I... How much do I trust that there's no fall damage in this game? Oh, this was a mistake! Yeah. Heads up, everyone. There is fall damage in this game. Okay. Yeah, I kind of kind of saw that coming. That was fun, though. Um, so, yeah, heads up. There is fall damage. Um, it totally happens. Apparently, it doesn't happen from that far, but boy, does it happen. All right. So, with the initial parts of this checked out, I got to say... Um, this, this looks kind of neat. This looks kind of fun. I'm looking forward to this. So with that, we're going to call it apart for now. Next time, I think we'll go see if we can check out those caves by the tower and maybe get in a fight. Let's, let's see if we can punch someone. That would be great. Um, we, we have no spells. We have no armor. And the only thing we know how to do is make a hat. So, you know, we got that going for us. Um, until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And I will see you next time.